everyone, it's Vlogmas Day 10 and again I'm late doing it, it's lunch time. Been to the post office, posted three items out. Um, nothing really exciting going on. I've had a lot of packages arrive and I've been taking in packages for the neighbours as well. Which I don't mind because they do it for me as well, so. I don't normally walk through Risker on a Monday, I normally do it on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but not on a Monday, but I did have to go to the post office. Jennifer is all wrapped up. It's not pinging because I've turned it on silent because Facebook notifications are coming through like loud. All night long keeps me awake, so not a bad day. Good blue sky. So just walking down to my mum's now to have something to eat. I'll see my brother and give daddy's lights. Oh, Jennifer's a big yawn. She's gone to sleep. I'm up by the garage now, um, near mum's, and she's popped off to sleep, but I, I wanted to show you all, if I can get across the road. Somebody's lost a hubcap. Oh well, never mind. KFC over there. They've reinflated Santa. Far away from here, but uh, they definitely have. I'll show you when we get to him. Oh, well, she's so sleepy. So, there we go. Yeah. I haven't tried that coffee shop brew over the road. Going to have to. So, yeah. They've reinflated Santa, so that's good news. Santa's back. He's not not gone anymore. Well, I looked at nearly um, nearly 100 properties, and more than that. I'm off it. I'm off it. So, I'm off it. We haven't found it. But there needs to be enough there that makes us think, wow, this really is a dream house. So I've got to find this substantial property and all the <laughs> She does that every time. Oh. So we're finding this is a perfect property. Can we uh, nudge up a little bit? <laughs> There's a little bit there. So we've got three <laughs> smashing properties lined up. I've got it. Well, where should we get started? I've got, I've got, I've got as much fun when you catch it. When you catch it. Richard and Peter have a very generous budget yes. between them and are prepared to be a buyer for the right place. They need to accommodate six people in two separate properties and a house with the potential to divide into two. They're planning to have the family printing business on site and they'd like a garden large enough to keep two growing children and possibly some livestock happy. They'll be visiting three contrasting rural properties and many are each one discover <laughs> its price. The final stop will be the mystery house, which will offer them an extra that will definitely give them something new to think about. <laughs> We're beginning our house hunt towards the centre of the county, on the outskirts of the village of Enford. 15 miles north of Salisbury. The surrounding countryside is a designated area... Well, that's day 10. Not a lot going on. I'm trying to sort out the cameras, which are behind me. Make an inventory of them, so I know what I've got. But uh, very difficult because Jennifer keeps crying. Bless her. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today. I've had more packages arrive for Christmas. I'm going to try and do some wrapping tomorrow. I always have to pop into the opticians, get my dad's glasses fixed because the lens popped out. So that's it for tonight. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, they won't all be this boring. <laughs> have a nice evening, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye.